Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am back today with another video for Arteza Week. This will be my last process video for Arteza Week, but I will be back in just a couple of days with giveaway details, so I hope that you'll go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. But in today's video, I'm going to be creating a quick and easy watercolor slimline card using the Arteza watercolor pencils. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I hope that you've enjoyed Arteza Week here on my YouTube channel. I know that I have really enjoyed using my new Arteza goodies and creating projects to share with you. This will be my last process video for Arteza Week where I'm sharing a new project, but don't forget that I'll be back this Sunday to tell you more about my special giveaway where in celebration of my 13,000th subscriber, you could win some Arteza goodies for yourself. On the screen in front of you is a look at the projects that I have created so far this week. On the left, I did a DIY canvas in the middle, a set of four watercolor cards, and on the right, I used real brush pens to color in that cute little apple basket. If you would like to see how I created these projects or see my unboxing, I will link my Arteza Week playlist in the description box below. For today's project, I will be using the Arteza watercolor pencils to create a fun and quick watercolor slimline card. I will be adding some products in the video when I start the process, and I will be sure to let you know about any of those as I introduce them. If I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. Let's get crafty. To get started on the card today, I am cutting a nine by 12 piece of watercolor paper into a piece that is seven inches by eight and a half inches and into a piece that is two and a half inches wide by seven inches tall. The larger one I am going to score in half for my slimline card base. And the reason that I'm using the watercolor paper is just so everything looks good together. Since the watercolor paper has a texture and isn't quite bright white, I thought it would be better to make the card base out of it as well. For the next part, I got out that small piece of watercolor paper, my water brush, and just a scrap of cardstock. To do my coloring, I got out six of the watercolor pencils from Arteza, and I just got out a rainbow of colors here. I do like how on these pencils, the name is big and bold on the sides. For my project today, I'm going to be bringing the water brush to the watercolor pencil to pick up color. Once I have some color on the brush, I just make a small stripe over on the watercolor paper. I continue this same process until I have six colored stripes. You'll notice that between each of the colors, I clean my brush off on that scrap of cardstock to the right before I pick up color from the next pencil. While I finish this part, I did want to tell you about some special links in the description box below. First off, I have shopping links to the US and EU Arteza shops. So if you want to check out any of their products, I hope you'll click on those. These are affiliate links, so I will receive a small commission if you place an order, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. Also in the description box is a discount code for you. If you use it between now and September 22nd, you can save 10% on your order. If that does get extended past the 22nd, I will be sure to let you know. Once the watercolor piece had dried completely, I brought in my Versamark ink and my Detail Gold embossing powder. I wanna add just a little bit of gold detail to the watercolor piece. So the first thing I do is rub my Versamark pad across the bottom of the watercolor strip, and then I pour on the Detail Gold embossing powder and heat set that. Mm -hmm. 
Then I brought in my Stamps by Judith Dots Peg Stamp to add a little bit more gold. I prep my surface with my embossing buddy just so the embossing powder only sticks to where I want it. And then I stamp the dots. I think it ends up being in five places on the front of this watercolor piece and I cover each of those spots with powder. You'll notice that any time I get a little extra powder onto the front of the card, I do just get out my small dry brush and wipe away what I don't want on the card front. I have found that this works better than trying to get it off with your finger because then I usually end up wiping away some of the stamped area. Once I have that powder on there, I heat set those parts as well. Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment directly onto my card front. I did get out my Misty for this in case I have to stamp it twice. And for my sentiment, I'm using the Pretty Pink Posh Simple Sayings Kind stamp set. The sentiment I chose says, you're my kind of person. I'm going to set that on the card front where I want it and then prep my surface again with my embossing buddy before I stamp and gold emboss my sentiment. The next thing I need to do is cut my watercolor strip into four pieces that are half an inch wide. Now I originally cut this to two and a half inches, but that was just in case I had to cut off some of the sides of the piece, I would still be able to cut four strips that were half an inch wide. Now you'll notice when the strip gets too small for me to hold with my hand, I use a piece of scotch blue removable tape to keep my watercolor piece in place while I cut it down with the trimmer. That piece of tape can be used over and over again. Now I'm gonna cut these strips to varying heights to go across my card. The one on the left I leave at the original size of seven inches tall, and then I cut the one all the way to the right to six and a half inches. The one the second from the right, I cut to six inches, and then finally the one that's second from the left, I cut to five and a half inches tall. Now I then bring in my card front, and I realize that the three pieces to the right probably need to be a little bit smaller. So I go ahead and cut an eighth of an inch off of those three pieces. To add a little dimension to the card front, I brought in my big blue roll of foam tape in the quarter inch width. I placed a strip of this on the back of each of those four watercolor pieces, and I am cutting this with some nonstick scissors so they don't gum up. Before I commit to placement of these, I peel back about an inch of the release paper at the top of each of the watercolor strips and then I just tack that down temporarily on my card front. I do find for this, it's a little easier if I turn my card upside down. Not sure why, but it seems to help. Let me know below if you do stuff like this too. Once I have those four pieces in place, and I think that I have a pretty good layout and pretty good spacing, I just pull the rest of the release paper and stick each of those pieces down. This was an easy way to line that up without committing right off the bat. And here's a look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this quick and easy watercolor slimline card. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.